When you have enough magnesium in your body around your red blood cells, studies have shown soaking in magnesium chloride walks you away from insulin resistance. Is it the only thing you need to do? No, but it's the foundational piece that helps you put the puzzle pieces together when it comes to insulin resistance. And did you know having enough magnesium around your red blood cells, another study showed that the magnesium helped to block the AMPK pathway. Now, AMPK pathway is not something you just talk about over lunch. Well, maybe you do, but I don't. So let's break that down. What is the AMPK pathway and why is it important? When your body has cancer, your AMPK pathway is what determines how fast that grows. I am not saying that magnesium will cure all cancer. I am not saying that. It would be inappropriate because remember, my name's Kristen. I'm a magnesium advocate. I love talking about magnesium. I love sharing the things that I've learned so you and I can have a powerful discussion and ask more powerful questions of the people on our medical board of directors. I am not a doctor. I am not prescribing. I'm not telling you what to do. I am telling you there are some studies that back up the fact that soaking in magnesium soak, when you get the cell saturation and your body has enough magnesium around the cells, that it helps protect you. It is a layer that protects your liver from cancer. And when you have enough magnesium around your cells, remember, we've talked about this a lot. This is a Tuesday tip from Living the Good Life Naturally. And on Tuesday, we're going to talk how magnesium specifically helps your body and share some tips that will help you with optimal health. And maybe you need a little bit more knowledge like, why is this woman soaking in magnesium and why am I seeing her all the time on the feed? And here's why. We are introduced to heavy metals every single day. Even if our body only takes up trace amounts, it's stored in our liver. When your body has enough magnesium around every red blood cell, your body is more easily able to get rid of aluminum, mercury, cadmium, those are, and arsenic. We don't want those, well, well, I don't want that in my liver What about you? And when you have magnesium, your system is set up to take care of that. With the heavy metals, you need another thing in place. Most people are only letting go of 5% of the heavy metals in their body. And the other 95% are reabsorbed back into the body because the natural systems that are set up to take care of that are not in place. One is magnesium. I've talked a lot about magnesium and achieving cell saturation. Having blood work that shows you are at 6.3 or above. Because when you do, magnesium can take care of your liver. It can help clean it out. With heavy metals, it needs a support. So for example, my husband's gone for a week. I miss him. I'm good on my own. Him and I are better together. His support is a game changer, life changing for me. That's how magnesium and bile are. You have the magnesium, you've achieved cell saturation to clean out those heavy metals But if you don't have optimal bile function, you're just reabsorbing it. And sometimes I think we can get caught up in all of these specific cleanses and protocols and spend all of this money when in actuality, if we have magnesium cell saturation and optimal bile function, those two things together 
naturally do the job of what they're supposed to do. Can we talk about that a little bit? That's what I want to talk about today. When you sit down to eat, here's what I want you to do. I want you to try because sometimes when we know what's supposed to happen, we actually change what we do. So I want you to try to forget that you just put together a connection of magnesium, pulling heavy metals from your body, putting it into your body, and then having bile do the next part and take them out to leave the body. Let's just pretend you don't even know that piece of information. The next time you sit down at the table, I want you to notice how you're breathing. How stressed are you? Are you breathing up in your chest? Is your breathing shallow? How stressed you are at the table determines how functional your bile is. Because when your stress goes up, your bile becomes less productive. This is why I say the women set the tone for the bile of everyone. Because typically, not always, in my house it was different. My husband was the cook, not me. I did the dishes and it worked well that way. We had a good deal going on. So it was him who set the tone in our house. So we don't, we didn't meet that norm. And don't get me wrong. I cooked. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to get emails. I didn't take care of my family. I cooked. But when you have someone who cooks that much better in the family, you want to eat his food, not her food. So he was the one as he prepared and those meals were served. He set the tone. Who's setting the tone at the table you're eating at? Now, fortunately, my husband is just chill. Truly, in almost everything. Who is setting the tone at the table you eat at? And are you going to the table recognizing how powerful gratitude is? How powerful it is to sit down, take a minute, Take a deep breath and say, okay, I am relaxing. I am enjoying this food and I'm enjoying the commensality that's happening around this table. That's what increases digestion and changes your bile function. If appropriate for you, because remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing. Healthy women have strong filters and we filter everything we learn from people online to our situation. Here's something I've learned over the years from clients. When they have thick bile, their energy is low. So is your energy low? Could mean that you have thick bile. And when you do fresh grapefruit juice, not canned on this one, fresh grapefruit juice, just a little shot of it in the morning before you eat can thin your bile out, giving you more energy. I've seen that happen time and time again. So it might be that you've got, because if your bile's thick, you've got dehydration issues. So when the bile's thick, we're excited because the grapefruit thins it out, but it's kind of a band-aid. We need to dive under underneath the problem and get to the base of what's happening. And that's it. And that is inadequate, inadequate hydration. You've got to make sure you're getting that water. You've got to make sure when you sit at a meal that you're slowing down a little bit, taking a big breath, connecting with the people around you. And then look at, look at the meal and look at the table and determine who's setting the tone for this meal. Because there's usually one person in, in our home, it was my husband. The study I read, they said it was always the woman and it wasn't for us. Determine who's setting the tone for stress levels. There will be one person that everybody looks to. And typically it's the person who's serving, who's prepared the meal and is putting it on the table. Watch them. 
Is there something you can do to help de-stress them? Because when they come to the table stressed out, they're changing everyone's ability to be in rest and digest mode. And we need to be in that when we need to be in that. Maybe there's a problem. Oh, I might not have sound. Shelly, I'm on live. Do I not have sound? Huh? Do I, I'm on live. Do I not have sound? Is that what you called? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were still on live. I just had a question. Oh, you. okay. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll hop so off. Sorry. Bye. So sorry. <laughs> I thought, hmm, Shelly doesn't call when I'm on live. So I better check that. It's so important. Oh, thank you. When, when Shelly called, I thought, oh my goodness, maybe there's no sound. It's so important to recognize who holds that powerful role and to give it the power, the recognition of the power that they hold. And is there something you can do to support them or is it you? And is there something that you can do to bring down the cortisol levels of the people that sit at your table when you eat because it changes biofunction. It changes their ability to get heavy metals out of their body. And we need magnesium. We need cell saturation, soaking in magnesium and achieving cell saturation. And we need good functional bile. And not only does it get rid of heavy metals, when those two things are in place, along with some acerola cherry powder, you're also getting rid of parasites just through having a strong foundation. When you set the body up correctly, you don't need all the parasite cleanses. You don't, you don't need them because your body's set up to take care of them. You need a parasite cleanse when you have a crack in your foundation and you don't have tools to de-stress. You don't have ways to bring your cortisol levels down. You don't have optimal magnesium. You don't have optimal vitamin C levels in your body with that acerola that has a strong copper core. Because when that's in place, your liver is functioning and cleaning itself up and putting those natural processes into place. It's incredibly important. Never take for granted what magnesium does to boost liver function. It cleans up the cells. It stops that AMPK pathway that determines how fast a tumor will grow. It helps everything. Tuesday tips. My name's Kristen. I'm a magnesium advocate, and I'm here just to talk about magnesium for Pacific Monday through Friday ish ish. I'll miss a couple of days. If I'm not here, no worries. I'm just doing something for the business. <laughs> it called my name loudly. Knowing and understanding my goal is, is it will help motivate you to not only soak in magnesium, but learn where your magnesium levels are. Am I at 6.3? Did I achieve cell saturation? Because when you do, you've opened the first gateway of health. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to be covering um, Wednesday one question days, and we're going to cover questions that have come in or questions that come up on the live. So I'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Bye-bye.